Go to the Tools panel of Affinity Photo and select the Artistic or Frame Text tool. Once you've selected it, click on the document and add some text. I'm just adding something, just random text. So with that, what you can do, you can go up here to Liquify it. So click the Liquify Persona and it'll come up with a message. You can't do it unless it's a pixel layer. Well, you can. You can just turn around and say Layer and Rasterize. So you rasterize it, but that freezes it, which I don't particularly want to do. But what you can do, you can go to Layer, and you go down to New Life Filter Layer, down to Distort and Liquify. And all the functionality, the standard functionality, is in there. Exactly the same as up in the Persona. And you can go over here, and I'm just going to use one or two of these. Let's just go for Rotate. And you can rotate it, and you can see it distort. You can change brush, change the mesh. Please check my videos about that. So you can really nicely squeeze it and distort that. And then click Done. And you've got your design there. However, you notice over here in the layers, it's connected with that text. You can select that and drag it above, and the result will then modify the gradient as well. Anything below will be modified. But I don't want to do that. But you can also go and duplicate it as well. You can add multiple ones, so you can always go to Layer, New Life Filter Layer, down to Distort, and add another liquefy, or one of the other ones as well. And you can always modify it, so you can always double click it, and you can go back into it, and then tweak it, change it, distort it a bit more, and then click Done then again. So it's infinitely editable. Also, if you want to, you can always change the text. So let's just quickly change it. So now you could try and edit it, it's perfectly reasonable, but if you've got a very, very distorted design, it makes it quite hard, I think, to see what you're editing. So click there, make certain it's just no liquefies applied. And then you can go over to the artistic text tool and you can put whatever in something else in there instead. And now, of course, what you do, you can bring it back. Just select it again. And of course, the modification that you've just done is then reflected with that liquefy as well. And of course, just a layer, so that layer, that text, that text can be duplicated, modified, moved around, warped, and so on and so on, and they're all independent. So you can create all kinds of weird and wonderful designs with liquify and text. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.